I so called the man of God the next day, and he led my wife to the Lord over the phone. Okay. Now, when, oh, God, after she got funny. saved, you know, she forgave me for being a, a rotten, no good, uh, sinful <laughs> man and everything. And then she said, oh, Ray, I'm two, we're three million in debt. We have three years probation and 15 lawsuits. And there's at least two death threats and one's for me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to give him the five-fold ministry. Okay. So, so there I was, you know, and, and we were weeping and crying. And then we found a little church out here in Chatsworth, Four Square Church. Okay. And then we were, if there was a church meeting, we were there. Okay. If we heard there was a meeting in Orange County, we were there. Okay. But then I went to Tulsa, Oklahoma and got baptized in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in other tongues right. by a fellow by the name of Kenneth Hagin. Okay. And the power of God once again hit me, knocked me five feet through the air, spoke another tongue, not for three hours, but for five hours straight. Wow. Went to bed praising and worshiping God. And the glory of God was on me. I saw the face of Jesus, looked like the Shroud of Tehran. I saw his blood marred, scarred face. Mm -hmm. and, when, and when I left Tulsa, Oklahoma that day, the next day, to go back to L.A., I had two shopping bags full of books and tapes, a two-year Bible course. Okay. And when I got in L.A., I got in my car and went back to the world gym and jumped up on the bench and said, guys, I want to tell you what happened to me. And I witnessed the Arnold Schwarzenegger, Lou Frank, wow. all the bodybuilders. Goodness. I told them about what God did, how he changed me, transformed me. I got filled with the Holy Ghost. It wasn't Jack Daniel. It wasn't Bud Light. And I got hit with the heavenly light. Wow. <laughs> what I've been looking for. <laughs> but now I was too million in debt. Now, you know, and so I started getting into the Word of God. And men of God were there to disciple me. And I applied God's principles. And I started working and praying the Holy Ghost, activating God's GPS system. See, mm -hmm. praying in the Holy Ghost activates your GPS system. Mm -hmm. We're the navigation system. He's the GPS. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit started speaking to me, guiding me. And five years later, we were debt free. Mm -hmm. wow. We didn't bankrupt. We went from three million in debt mm -hmm. to, to own. They said, you don't own three million. It's only this and that. Before you know, we paid off three hundred fifteen thousand. Mm -hmm. We learned about integrity, godly character, and serving the Lord. Mm -hmm. And since that period of time, my wife and I, we've been preaching around the world. Mm -hmm. I preached to probably a billion people on TV around the world the last twenty-seven wow. years, mm -hmm. and I've seen signs one and miracles mm -hmm. and I, I thank God I made the right choice I thank God that I that I, that I heard the voice of God and was obedient to mm -hmm. do what God's called me to do mm -hmm. you see but in this period of time I mean Wanda you actually you know we, the devil fights you mm -hmm. he's out to kill steal and to destroy so it's a spiritual battle and I, I survived the plane crash coming into LA mm -hmm. Okay, by praying. I survived the drive-by shooting uh, by hearing the voice of God saying, go to the left. Mm -hmm. I survived the rollover car accident with all my family, mm -hmm. my, my, my three children. I survived the Northridge earthquake and terminal <laughs> cancer 10 years ago where they said you'd be dead in two weeks. Oh, so the enemy's wow. going to attack you. The enemy is going to fight you. But far greater is he that is in us than he that is in the yeah. world. Amen. We're more than conquerors mm -hmm. and we live a victorious overcoming life. So my message to the church today is let the, is flick the bick, let the fire burn, <laughs> let out there, go out there and win souls. Uh -huh. And we live a life of overcoming uh, power, the, the Dominion, declaring and decreeing demonstration power like, like Elijah had. Uh -huh. And I'm more excited than ever. And uh, I, I, I preach to the down and outers and to the up and outers. Okay. And I've ministered to a lot of movie stars. And, and, and uh, to me, everybody's the same. Mm -hmm. I, you have to treat everybody the same because God's right. going to respect your person. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I'm just so excited and so on fire for the Lord that uh, I can't help to get, I can't wait to get up in the morning and praise God and thank mm -hmm. Him for the, the peace of God that He's given me mm -hmm. and the help that He's given me mm -hmm. and, and the divine utterance to set the captives free. You are absolutely awesome. Yeah, I have really. to thank Brother Bob Saul for, for <laughs> hooking me up with you and your wife. I mean, you are just totally awesome. Awesome. And Pastor well, thank Rex, you, so much you, you are great. And, you. and Miss Cute, Mrs. Cute, <laughs> <laughs> you are wonderful. You and Pastor Rex are going to stay with me for another show. Um, uh, Brother Tenorino, your testimony is enough to just knock somebody's socks off. And mm. like I said, I don't, I don't want to do a lot of talking because you've yeah. done a great job. <laughs> but I want you all to know, once again, you've written this book, Supersize Your Faith. And, uh, it's happening to God's miracle power. It's my life story, but also is the principles of God amen. That, that, that are written in God's word that will allow you to live a victorious, overcoming life and to fulfill your destiny and be obedient to the Lord. And there's our good governor here when That's I train right. with and him. I don't know if you, if you can get a <laughs> shot of this, but this is uh, Brother Tenorino here with our governor, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And so you are practicing what you preach. He's an awesome guy, and I pray for him, and I went to the inauguration, and, and, so, and I just uh, he's, uh, believe that God's going uh, to, he, he gave his life to the Lord also. Praise God. Yeah. So God is moving. Mm. You are just something else. <laughs> we got to do number two show. We got to do number two show. Okay. And, and you know we have to have a on here. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, my wife's outside actually. And I said, she said, no, that's okay. You know, because that that is totally awesome. Because you know what? It's hard being in, and I'm sure that Jennifer can testify to this. She has an absolutely oh. beautiful husband, and <laughs> uh, and and Pastor Rex. We're believing God. I know you're gonna get hooked up and tell us all about it. But it's hard being in the spotlight yeah, and having a mate mm -hmm. that works with you, and you have to believe God to to stand with it when you're getting all of this attention. Mm -hmm. You have to know that you know that you know. You know what? Part of my problem was that ego edging God out of my life, you know. Mm. And I, and then eventually when I got saved, God gave me faith. He gave me the measure of faith, which I call fantastic adventures in trusting him. Mm. But my wife has a real testimony because she stood by me when I was abusive. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, living out, living out there just caught up with organized crime and, mm -hmm. and doing illegal things and coming home, you know, stoned in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it's just, I give her the testimony for God's allow her to stand you, with us. I'm that's a real testimony. Because mm. Sister Wanda would have let you She was go. a New York chick. Yeah. <laughs> she was a New York chick. Yeah. Yeah. She was a tough New York chick. <laughs> fighter. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, my yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'd have laid you out in the name of Jesus with uh, a pan. Well, my wife, my wife did some of those things. Oh, really? Oh, I like this girl. I got one broken rib that's still oh, not healed. God, I'm, not, I'm trying to tell you, we'd have laid some hands. Anyway, we got one minute. We're that's wrapping awesome. this up in the name of Jesus. You have got to come back again. I, thank I just so thank much. God for you. You have got, Jennifer, Pastor Rex, you've got to stay with me. I thank God for you so much. You both have got some awesome testimonies and some uh, ministry from God to tell us about on our next show. Um, uh, brother Tenorino, <laughs> you are bad, okay? Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I love it. You know, see, Brother Rex is a rapper. He said, I'm a devil yeah. busted, demon stopping, Holy Ghost, Bible dumping, bold man of God. No. <laughs> it's just the way I said it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, God is awesome. He shows up and shows out in ways. And we're wrapping it up in the name of well. Jesus. <laughs> Thank you for the cue. Jennifer, you look like a supermodel from God. Uh, 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 Pastor yeah. Rex, everybody knows who you are with the Boston Red Sox and now your ministry. And with Benny Hinn. Right. Thank you for being with us on The Answer of the Lips. Give me a call. There's a contact number at the end of the show and let them come and minister to your church. They will bless your souls in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. What a good bad. show. Good, good show.